Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's what we're trying to accomplish tonight. This is what we're going to do right now. 2018-19 Panini Cornerstones Basketball 12 box. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these lovely people for getting into the action. There it is. Pick your team two. Cornerstones Basketball brand new release. There's everyone right there. And here is the fresh case right here. Cornerstones Hoops. All right, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, right there. Good luck, ladies and gents. Two autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average, and somewhere in this case should be one of those downtown cards as well, which are pretty great. Good luck. All right, so Kevin Love is going to help slow play all these hits here. We've got Robert Covington to 139. We'll sleeve and top load all those before they go out. We've got startups, SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander for the Clippers. Then the hits, we've got Gary Trent Jr. Nice. Quad relic and autograph out of 75. Those Cornerstones Quad Relic Autos always do well on the secondary market. Congrats to Karen with the Trailblazers. We got Glenn Rice. Nice foundations. Nice relic right there. Some nice color in that one. Glenn Rice for Karen and the Hornets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no Clipper Joe Mojo on that SGA. Lakers for life. Until, I don't know, for a while, I guess. <laughs> and we've got Artis Gilmore? Legendary contenders. I was like... There's no rookie with artists. No, it's a legend. It's LA. It's all the same. You think we all look alike, Mark? No, Clippers fans and Lakers fans are very different. Lakers fans are sophisticated, well-read, passionate about their team. Not swayed by, not swayed by uh, Steve Ballmer and his antics. Not swayed by that. We both play in the same arena. True, we do play in the same arena. But Clippers are really just renting. Behind Steph Curry is Devin Booker, Unbreakables. Then we got Gerald Green. It's like Frodo. That goes to <laughs> Nerd Alert, if you guys get that Frodo reference. 32 out of 129 in reference to Gerald Green missing a... F Never anyway. Gerald Green Rockets, that goes to Greg. Bruce Brown Relic. I just learned about that today, by the way. <laughs> I think it was like Matt Whitaker or something like that who mentioned it. Someone like that. Let's learn about that today. Mark Matheson with the Pistons. And behind Steph is two out of five Andrew Wiggins cornerstones. 
Quad Relic and On Card Auto. Nice. That's Nick with the Timberwolves. Nice. Nick, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! What did I learn today? I learned that Gerald Green is missing like half of his ring finger on his right hand. It's like Frodo. All right. Behind, well, there's Kyrie, 79. Behind Kevin Love is Startups, Anthony Simons. And out of 25, Kyle, Cor Kyle Corver. Is he on the Jazz now? Where is Kyle Corver? Is he on the Jazz? Kyle Corver will forever be a, an Atlanta Hawk to me. This goes to Mark Matson and the Utah Jazz. Redemption, Relic, Mobamba. Bam. Dion Waiters. Sign your cards, Dion. It goes to the Miami Heat. Nick with the Heat. I think Crystals is to 75. If I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. I'm probably mistaken. Does anybody watch True TV? Any time of the year other than this time of year, March Madness time. I guess there's that show Impractical Jokers, I think. People like Impractical Jokers. Marcus Aldridge to 49. Startups, Jerome Robinson for the clip show. Yeah, TJ Warren is Mike Bibby. Nice. 96 out of 129. Legendary quad relic and autograph. Bibby for three. That goes to Alex Carmichael in the Atlanta Hawks. Then we've got... Justin Jackson, Cornerstones, autograph. Out of 129 for the Kings. Brian Dominguez and the Kings. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Done did it, says, uh, oh, the wife likes True Team. What, what else is on there? I feel like true crime shows, maybe. There's Chris Weber, Foundations Relic. Another one for the Kings. Another one for Brian. Oh, detective stuff is on there? All right. Like, uh, is Snapped on there? You guys like that show, Snapped? At a 79, Rudy Gobert. Then we've got, from downtown, Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
Downtown. Cody Curtis and the Bucks. Oh, man. Milwaukee. You've got to talk to Panini about this. Your downtown is not indoors. This is what they think of your city. They couldn't, they couldn't put like a brewery back there or something like that? Yeah, Michael G. There you go. I was waiting for our Wisconsin crew to sound off. Yeah, Michael G's WTF, right? Like all the other ones. Look at the look at our other videos. I'll be like Kobe downtown. We'll have we'll have like the outside of a movie theater and all that sort of stuff, right? What's the other downtown card that we pulled? That was out. It was Kevin Durant. That was out. Beautiful San Francisco buildings and and, and the Golden Gate Bridge and all that sort of stuff. This is what. Whoever did, whoever's on the design team on Panini. Yeah, this is a Christmas card, Michael G. Look at this. Come on. Put some respect on, on, on Milwaukee. Man. That's, that's a few. This is an MVP right here. This is a future MVP right here. Come on. That goes to Cody Curtis and the Bucks. Nice. Mike Hinkle saying he got engaged at a Bucks game. The wife's from Milwaukee. Nice. Yeah, we got a good we got a good uh, Wisconsin contingent in our in our room here. There's Anthony Hardaway Foundation's relic. Game worn goes to Ed Ram. Oh, there's two here. How about how about this? How about Herb Williams or Herb? 004 out of 129 for the Pacers. That is for Lewis Reeves. And there's the Bucks again. 114 out of 129. To be honest, that does kind of that does sort of look like a Christmas sweater right there. So maybe that does make sense. Elusive Inc. 140 114 out of 129. Quinn Buckner. You guys remember Quinn Buckner? Old Quinn. Next box, about halfway through this break. Oh, and the March Madness promo break is sold out. Nice. So I don't think anything sold out before then, so we're going to do that randomizer um, after this. I don't remember Buckner, I'm afraid. I know this guy, Dirk Nowitzki, 79. There's Ben Simmons, Unbreakables, for the Sixers. That's going to go to Dwayne. There is Franchise Pillars, Horace Grant. Nice, 100 out of 129. Love the goggles. That goes to Nick and the Bulls. Then we've got Jacob Evans III, quad relic and autograph. 97 out of 199, that cornerstone autograph going to Dwayne and the Warriors. And there's, I think it's Mikhail Bridges, right? Is it Mikhail Bridges? There's Miles Bridges, and then it's Michael Bridges or Mikhail Bridges. Yeah, Horace Grant, I remember. Horace Grant, I remember. All right. Six boxes to go. Mark, Mark thinks that Ben Simmons might shoot a three-pointer this year. Really? Think they'll let him do that? Over under on, on Ben Simmons' average three point attempts in the playoffs. What's the line on that? Is 
they're not going to let him shoot threes in the playoffs, right? Are they? Enos Cantor, Buddy Heald reveals startups Aaron Holiday. Thaddeus Young to 49. Maybe a lucky game winning shot. Michael Hankel, two and a half. Maybe under on that two and a half. All right, there's Thaddeus Young, autograph for the Pacers. That'll be for Lewis. We got Gary Trent Jr., building blocks for the Trailblazers. That'll go to Karen. And we've got Wendell Carter Jr., quad relic and autograph. Mr. Wendell, 134 out of 199. Nick Cipriani with doubles. Doubles, 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 doubles. And there's Buddy Heel to 139. Next box. There's Nikola Jokic to 139. Startups, Josh Kogie. Wait, Ben Simmons is 0 for 15 in his career from three? And eight of those 15 are from 40 feet, from over 40 feet away? No. Is that true? There's Chandler Hutchinson for the Bulls. Wow. There's Chandler. There's Gary Trent Jr., Cornerstones, nice. 002 out of 199 for the Trailblazers. Karen. Karen with that one. Man. But this, I mean, he shot four. This, this is a league where where there is so much three-point shooting. Brooke Lopez shoots and makes. Here's Michael Bridges, quad relic and autograph, 148 out of 199. I mean, I knew that. I knew that Ben Simmons, you know, was not a stellar three-point shooter. I just didn't think. I thought he just had more attempts than that. Right, yeah, Mike Hink Mike Hinkle saying that he's got to be able. To, ben Simmons has to be able to shoot, or they won't go far with just Jimmy. There's Torian Prince to seventy nine. Right, because then they can just guard Jimmy Butler and JJ Redick, I guess, and then and then force Ben Simmons to take outside shots. There's unbreakable Jason Tatum. There's Gerald Green, 122 out of 129. Another one for the Rockets, Greg. I guess they got Tobias Harris. There's Jerome Robinson, building blocks for the Clippers. That's for Frank. Yeah, Embiid can shoot a three, right? Yeah, Mark's like in beach shoots threes, yeah. 
It's just so odd. Lonzo shoots three, 16 out of 49, two-color quad relic if he's able to be on the court and if no one's close to him. Nice. Lonzo Ball going to Greg and the Lakers. There you go. Spoke too soon, Greg. <laughs> Greg just finished saying, does this have does this product have any Lakers? There it is, Lonzo to 49. There is 47 out of 49. Oladipo. How far, how far are they going to go with that, with that Oladipo? Jamal Murray. Uh, Lego Jack. KD. I don't know. I'm going to wait until the offseason to talk about KD. I feel like we'll have, we're going to be talking about that for, for a long time. Foundations. Glenn Rice. There's Walt Frazier, 27 out of 49, who, uh, who dressed down LeBron James for sitting at the far end of the bench. And I saw some purple. Lakers? Nice. V. Mahaliuk, who's on the Pistons now. 38 out of 75. This could be a future Kyle Korver in the making. Or J.J. Redick, if you're lucky. And also goes to Greg and the Lakers. All right, Tyler is asking Joe, "Who do you? Uh, what do you think Zion contenders base rookie auto going to go for?" That's a good question. I mean, I don't know. Probably as much as it all depends on how he plays, like. Luka Doncic, for example, uh, had hype, and he delivered. Right, like he, like early, especially early in the season, he's triple doubles here and there, and you know, playing some exciting ball. And Mavs are playing well at home, and all this sort of stuff. I mean, there's Josh Jackson right there. You got to think, you know, he's got to be drafted to a team that's going to use him properly. Will the Suns use him? Pro I don't know. And he just has to ball out. I think he's going to do, I think hobby-wise he's going to do fine. But to reach like Doncic levels, you know what I mean? He's got to also perform. It just won't be draft position and hype that'll do it. At least hobby-wise, you know. It's Tim Hardaway Jr. But, and he's got to stay healthy, knock on wood, right? No, no like Ben Simmons nonsense. Poor Ben Simmons, like, out his first year. And that really put, hit the pause button on that guy. We got Grayson Allen. Quad relic and autograph, 74 out of 199. You don't think the, you don't think the Suns, you think the Suns will pass on DeAndre Ayton? Or I'm sorry, not on DeAndre, on Zion, if he's available. I think they'll kind of have to take him. There's Jalen Brown. And there's Troy Brown Jr., 008 out of 199. And then trade one of those guys if one guy turns out to be better. I feel like Phoenix fans would melt down if that ownership passed on Zion. Right? That ownership is not, not very good. That's if they get the one seed, right? I mean, they could not get that. 
I'm not sure if I even want him on the Knicks, though. Is that even any better on a Dolan team? You know, they, they like, lucked out with Porzingis, and Porzing then they still traded him away. Right, there you go. So Mark F. is a Suns fan, so they better not pass. There's Joel Embiid. There is Kawhi Leonard. There is... Rick Barry, nice. 8 out of 25 franchise pillars for the Warriors. SGA, Shea Gilgis, Alexander, building blocks relic for the Clippers. That goes to Frank Hart. And the last cornerstones autograph out of cornerstones basketball pick your team number two on a wednesday night behind jeff teague is gonna be a laker it's kyle kuzma nice kuz four out of 49 nice quad relic and autograph greg Finishing strong with that Laker Joe Mojo. The la I think all the hits were in like the last few boxes, right? <laughs> For the Lakers, anyway. There you go. One of my favorite players. Hopefully he's still around. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.